Good morning, folks. Well, the earthquakes didn't feel like making us wait very long, and the first big rumble of the month has occurred. We'll do some news and weather, but we'll begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding perhaps the calmest day yet of this descent into solar minimum. No eruptions or even sunspots to make solar flares. And back at Earth, the solar wind is finally beginning to die down, and we're now 48 hours out of the storm conditions and waning still. Remember yesterday we said a small sun-diving comet was coming in? Well, it died on approach, but once again, its breakup heralded a CME release. This one just off the far side south and will miss Earth. So last night we posted a second video to YouTube. We looked at the Blot Echo Quake Risk map that was shown on the March 3rd news just three days ago. We were discussing how a 5.9 struck Papua New Guinea and a 5.7 killed one in the Philippines both in the Red Watch regions, and no sooner did that video post to YouTube than a larger 6.3 struck dead in the heart of that Papua New Guinea alert. It hit the edge of the posted red alert in the official map as well. Luckily, not a deadly event. We're on to the top news, and this was the first image of potential companions to Galice 758 back in 2009. It turns out that C was a background star, but B has been confirmed as a 30 to 40 Jupiter mass dwarf, orbiting a sun-like star with 88% the sun's radius and 97% of its mass. It's 50 light years away, and now new looks at the star system are helping to reveal that orbiter much more clearly than before. This link is posted for you below. Quick heads up for Zimbabwe, the government out of options, has asked for international aid to deal with the record flooding in the region that has killed hundreds and displaced thousands more and utterly wiped villages off the map. The most powerful storm on Earth is about to hit Madagascar. The warnings are out down there, but we'll reiterate the severity of the risk from that cyclone. We also need to have eyes open in the U.S. as the central low will wait for the heat of the day and then parlay it into severe weather tonight. Could see hail and even tornadoes accompanying those storms. Across the pond, that low is reaching very far inland now. Its highest effect sweeps from between France and the U.K., then down towards Italy thereafter. Also wanted to quickly note that the previously identified storm cell over here is going to reach the North Island of New Zealand by tonight. High winds expected for sure. Folks, the quake risk maps and all space weather alerts come through the Disaster Prediction app. Our book, Breaking Down Solar Effects on Weather and a Look at Our Future, is available from stores as well. We've got some more pressure and radar forecasts, a null school run to the top of the sky, and shots of our star to close. It's 4.35 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.